What was once a simple inside joke launched what would soon become one of the largest, most important projects in the company. That's what she said. We were trying to always figure out um, what was she really saying. That one statement became the catalyst for a data warehouse now holding in excess of 500,000 verbatim from several different channels. At the center of it all was Stan Lucas and the Customer Insights team working endless hours to build support and get buy-in from the internal brand partners. So it wasn't always easy. It wasn't always boardrooms and conference halls like you see now. We worked some of the worst dingiest cubicles, the worst hole in the walls that you could ever see. I remember this one meeting we had where no one even showed up. Only this one person came in and she was an intern. It wasn't long though before people started to see the value in the voice of the customer and 2011 became a breakout year for both the team and the project. Sentences were being loaded in record volumes and demand for data was even larger. We just couldn't get enough of their team. All of a sudden, meeting invites were pouring in. So we were basically getting invited to meetings left and right. We got invited to meetings that we didn't even really understand why we were involved in. It seemed like every time we ended up in a room, we looked around and just said, how do we even get invited to this meeting? We were like, how'd they get invited to this meeting? But we were always glad they were there. Almost overnight, the voice of the customer was being requested and used throughout the company to make decisions. Things were going so well, Charming Shops was telling their story all over the country, eventually picking up the Trailblazer Award at C3 2012. I think it was an award-winning success for them. They recognized that tying structured data to the unstructured to do the analysis on customer voice not only showed that the text was valuable, but also showed that they could very clearly map voice the customer, what she said, to the source of things she was rating and reviewing online. Instant fame always comes with a cost, and Stan was about to have to pay up. Long hours, high demand, and higher expectations caught up with the team. Private debates leaked into the public eye, automation projects moved slowly, and social media volumes were drying up. The project was losing its identity. We were getting all different kinds of requests from the brands. Uh, one minute we were getting asked, um, you know, what do the customers think about our bras? The next minute it might be, what, is the, what are their thoughts on gas prices? I could really tell there was a little bit more going on. Um, Stan seemed really stressed out. It was almost scary to knock on that door. In the summer of 2012, Charming Shops was officially acquired by Asina Retail Group. Now, everything was really up for grabs, as parts of the original business were closed and all projects were questioned. Just when it looked like things couldn't get worse, turnover struck. Things weren't, things weren't always working out. Seriously, get the hair on my face. I think that finding out one of the people who had been there from the beginning, the fact that she was leaving was going to make it difficult to maintain the workload. But the Insights team fought back and turned challenges into opportunities. They channeled that Philly spirit and refused to go down. Set some new goals start working extra hard. We actually ended up burning out Stan's coffee machine. Now, additional brands are being loaded, reports are being distributed, and automation projects are almost complete. This is the story behind the project to prioritize the charming shops and Asina women, behind the use of text analytics to drive our business decisions, behind the ups and downs of the voice of the customer project. This is Charming Shops, behind the management, 